Hello and welcome to YouTube News. It's a little song I made. <laughs> it's copyright. Don't steal it. My name is Kyle Marshall. You're watching YouTube News. One quick news story and then a delving in to the top 100 most subscribed to on YouTube. Freesat is a service that's in the UK and it has recently partnered in with YouTube to now bring YouTube to their service. This is great news, obviously. I think it's a great move as I think more and more companies and products and services are allowing YouTube to be part of their network or business. In the article that I'm linking down below, it does mention the fact that YouTube is strategizing, trying to really move away from the mindset that still so many people have that their site is just full of cats failing and people on skateboards doing neat tricks and it's really trying to say no we're a legitimate community of entertainers of news people any spectrum of the entertainment world that you can think of we have musicians we have so much to offer the world that this is what we want to push to you people and there's still that mindset that that's not what it is of course hardcore users like myself have known this for quite a long time but I don't know why that mentality is still there. Probably because the most commonly shared videos on the site are still those that harken back to like five years ago. The other problem there being too is that when you try and use one of these services, so I have an Apple TV which has YouTube built into it so I can go and watch YouTube right off of my television. The problem there is that the user interface on the Apple TV's YouTube app is so abysmal that it's really hard to find anything. So you can go to see like the most watched and the most talked about and all that sort of thing. But if I'm trying to find like really great content, it's almost near impossible unless I know the actual person or the actual video name that I'm looking for so I can search for it. And I won't even get into the fact that you can't even look at your most like your most recent subscriptions and whatever. That's a whole other argument and it's a whole other discussion that makes me so upset and mad. So I don't know like the Google TVs are out there if they have the same issue where you can actually navigating that's promoting stuff that's going to be stuff that you're going to like. I don't think that YouTube has that algorithm down yet, which is interesting seeing how that Google has them, and the Google algorithm seems to work well enough. You'd think that they'd be able to say, hey, here's some great content that you will probably like based on other criteria that we have seen. So, this FreeSat partnership, I've kind of gone off on the tangent, this FreeSat partnership is great, I'm looking forward to it, but at the same time, I'm hoping that YouTube can eventually get it into itself that they need a better navigation system on all these services that they're providing. So let's take a look at the top 10, a little bit different from last week if you notice here. So into the top 10, jamming themselves into the top 10, FPS Russia, and as I predicted, PewDiePie flip, flip spots with Freddy W. I'm telling you, this top 10 is really going to see some changes here in the next couple of months, not only from the people already in the top 10, but really the people in the top 25. As you kind of delve into those numbers, you will really see a difference here in the next couple of months. Top 100 most subscribed also shows us this week though is the dangers of not creating weekly content or at least content on a more regular basis. Fail blog, which I've been noticing here for the past few weeks has only been getting like 100 new subscribers or 150 new subscribers, which by the way, come over here if you want, but really hasn't been doing the thousands of new subscribers that everyone else in the top 100 at least gets. This week, lost some subscribers. They lost subscribers, and 69 to be in fact wanky wanky. They also haven't uploaded anything in the last two months, so this isn't completely shocking. But fail blog, you will slowly see come out of the top 100. That is everything I have for you this week. If you do have new stories or things you think I should talk about, leave them down in the comments below. I'll see you here next week. Have a great week.